Having a baby comes with an overwhelming sense of responsibility. As a new parent, your child is completely dependent on you to keep them safe. Although there's no such thing as a completely safe home, many accidents can be prevented by taking a few safety precautions. But remember, the most important safety device is always going to be your supervision. So always be on the lookout for new dangers. The World Health Organization recommends keeping your baby in your room with you, but in their own cot or Moses basket for the first six months of life. When choosing a cot, make sure it has no more than two and a half inches between the slats or bars to prevent your baby's head getting trapped. The mattress should be clean and firm and tight fitting, so the baby can't get trapped between it and the side of the cot. Sudden infant death or SIDS is the unexplained death of an otherwise healthy baby under one year of age. There's no way of knowing which babies might die of SIDS, but there are ways to reduce the risk. Always put your baby on their back to sleep, even for naps, with their feet at the foot of the cot to prevent them from slipping down beneath the covers. Have blankets coming up no further than their shoulders. Keep the cot empty from anything that could cause suffocation. No pillows, duvets or stuffed toys and remove all plastic covering. Never place a cot beside a window or a radiator as this can result in the baby overheating. 18 degrees Celsius is the ideal room temperature. Don't allow your baby to overheat. To see how warm your baby is, feel their tummy. Their tummy should feel warm, but not too hot. Don't allow anyone to smoke near your baby and make sure anyone caring for your baby knows the correct sleeping position. A common cause of accidents for new babies is falling off changing units or other high places. To avoid this, choose a changing unit that's sturdy, always keep one hand on the baby when changing and keep everything you need within arm's reach and never leave a baby alone on a changing table. When preparing your baby's bath, pour the cold water in first and then add hot water. Always check the water temperature before putting your baby in, have everything ready and close to hand before you begin and never leave a baby unattended in water. For the first few weeks after the birth of your baby, you'll probably want to stay close to home. However, Babies are pretty good at travelling and tend not to be as disrupted as parents may fear. New EU child safety protection laws have come into force, making it compulsory for all children to travel in the correct child seat. Car seats must be in accordance with EU standards. Make sure your car seat is correctly fitted, follow the manufacturer's instructions and practice fitting it a few times before you need it. Make sure the seat is the right size for the child's age and weight and suitable for your car. Never place a rear-facing infant seat in the front of a vehicle with a passenger side airbag and never leave a baby unattended in a car. Install smoke alarms throughout the house and check the batteries regularly. Eliminate fire hazards. Don't smoke, put out all candles and cover fires with a fire guard. Check appliances for loose wires or frayed flexes. Never leave the room with a chip or a frying pan on. Keep fire extinguishers in the kitchen and anywhere there is an open fire. And close all doors at night. Recognise when your baby is ill and when they are, look for advice promptly. Trust your instincts. Most parents know when their baby is unwell as you know their normal day-to-day -day behaviour. If you're at all concerned, get advice from your doctor. Immunisation is a free, simple, safe and effective way of protecting your baby against certain diseases. Your child is given a vaccine to which their body responds by making antibodies, the same as if they'd caught the disease but without getting sick. These antibodies then destroy the vaccine and stay in your child's body and protect them against the actual disease. Your healthcare provider, nurse or GP 
will give your baby the immunizations. The injections are given with a small needle into the upper arm, thigh or buttock. What I'm going to run through today is the scenario that if you go to your baby's cot, you look at the baby, you think the baby's colour is not good, it's not the same colour it normally is, the baby's either pale, maybe grey, and what are you going to do if you think your baby's not breathing? First thing you're going to do is try and stimulate the baby a little bit and see do you get any response from that. If not, you're going to look very closely to see are they breathing or are they not. So have a look for about 10 seconds. If you feel they're not breathing, get the baby over on their side, clap on the back, looking at the baby all the time, seeing is the colour changing, is the baby moving, if there's anything visible in the nose or mouth, clear them away. At this stage, if there's no response, you need help on the way. Go to the phone, get professional help on the way, you need an ambulance on the way. So go back to your baby, lift your baby out of the cot and put them on a flat surface. Down on the floor, on a blanket is probably the quickest, easiest way to do that. And put the baby in a neutral position, just flat with the head straight, don't overextend the head or neck. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to give five rescue breaths. So you're going to put your mouth over the baby's nose and mouth and breathe into the baby five times. If the baby starts to respond at this stage and they're crying, coughing, spluttering, pick them up, comfort them. Still wait for your professional help and the baby does need to be checked out in a hospital. If at this stage there's no response from your baby, you now need to think about giving some chest compressions. And you're going to give your chest compressions with two fingers on the baby's uh, breastbone or sternum and you find the end and one finger width above. With your two fingers you're going to compress 15 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen and two breaths. And continue with that fifteen to two breaths until your help arrives or your baby improves. And pick the baby up, comfort them and go to the hospital with your baby to have them checked out 